All right, so this time we are bringing you the Messerschmitt BF109 by Durafly. Got this off of Hobby King for just over $200, uh, 20268 if I remember right, from the US warehouse. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this for you, give us our impressions, tell you what you think, or tell you what we think, rather. Uh, again, just so you all remember, we are not sponsored in any way. These all come out of our own pockets, so we can be as brutally honest as we want. All right, let's do this. Won't need that anymore. Look at this plane. Ooh, if this holds true, this is going to be a gorgeous bird. Got this cardboard flap on the bottom, which exposes our bomb drop. Looking forward to that. And I'm going to guess this is our bomb. And here's our knife. Got tape everywhere. Oh, look at that. Looks like it's a mixture of foam and plastic. And it's got some kind of a weight in there. So. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right, nothing else we have to worry about here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and flip this over. Come on. Sorry for all the noise. I'm just trying to get some sweet, sweet inside. There we go. You go away. All right. Got this nice layer of thin, soft foam just to help prevent scratches. And look at this propeller. That looks like a good nylon propeller. I, I like that. As I've mentioned before, I love my three blades. All right, what do we have? Oh, got decals with Mickey Mouse on them. Love that. For the more authentic look. Nice big wing, pre-assembled. For the most part, it looks like this tape was actually supposed to hold all these wires down um, and has unfortunately come undone. Flipping her over, one of the things I noticed right off the bat is my control rods are not installed, so that's gonna add some extra time to the build of this. These are some nice flaps, I do like those. When I saw that she had a bomb drop, I was worried that she wasn't gonna have flaps. I mean, you never know how many channels are gonna dedicate to these planes. Unfortunately, the receiver I have to work with today is only a six channel. So we're gonna have to make a decision what we're gonna actually hook up. Bright yellow spinner. Now this is done in the Battle of Britain paint scheme. So it's got that iconic yellow nose. All right, we've got, looks like some exhaust vents, plastic pieces. This is definitely gonna take some extra assembly time. Here we've got all of our uh, clevises, our small control rods for the wing, a screwdriver to help us with the assembly. Now, one of the things I failed to point out, check this out. I don't know if you can see these very well, but we've got actual ball joints on here. I mean, that's, that's nice. That's, that's high quality right there. Ah, yes. And along with that, at least for the, for the flaps, we've got these nice mechanical hinges. Looks like we've got live foam in the, uh, in the ailerons, however. We'll see what we've got on the tail once we get there. Let's get some more of this foam out of the way. Oh, oh, here we go. Here's our tail plane. And again, that looks like it's going to be a live foam hinge. So. I mean, really, the live foam works really well. It just adds a little bit of maintenance time, just because you do need to be checking those periodically to make sure they're not tearing out on you. I've lost more than one plane to that before. Looks like possibly an air scoop. I'm hoping we've got a good manual with this to tell us where all these pieces are going to be going. Haven't come across one yet. Oh, look at that plane. Look at that nose. 
It doesn't get much brighter yellow than that. All right. Well, that is not a bad looking little plane. I'm looking forward to this thing. What do we got here? I'm assuming this is our battery hatch. Yep. Yeah. Got our uh, rare, rare earth magnets to help that clip in. It doesn't clip as solidly as some that I've seen, but that's because we've got these plastic clips around them that are preventing the magnets from actually connecting to each other. So we'd get a much tighter bond if those were able to actually come into physical contact. We've got a nice little battery box here. Pre-connected XT60s. I love that. That's one of the things I love about Hobby King is they tend to give me those XT60 connectors, and that's what I use. All right, well, I think But that's done it for our box. So there's no physical manual in here. I'm going to have to uh, actually download one before I can get this put together. But we're going to do that. We'll go into a time lapse and we'll get this thing assembled right before your eyes. there we have it. This is a decent looking plane. Uh, let's go ahead and get these out of the way. I'll put these on before we actually do the maiden flight, but for right now, we're going to wait and we're going to determine exactly which scheme we want. Uh, so let's give this a quick run up, see what we think of the thrust. Oh yeah, that'll do the trick. That will do. All right, so overall, uh, thoughts on the plane? It's a great looking plane. I'm really looking forward to flying this. She's got this iconic, super narrow landing gear here. It's going to make her a little challenging to land. Along with the uh, actual mechanized bomb drop, once I put in a seven channel radio, that'll be operational for us. That's going to be a lot of fun. A um, couple of things that we noticed as we're going through here is <clears throat> over here, we actually have a pass through. I don't know if you can see this well. Here we go a pass-through clevis for the tailwheel rather than running a separate wire down to it. Uh, first time I've encountered that, I think that's pretty snazzy. Lots of little details on this plane. <clears throat> right down to, I believe, a gas cap glued on the back of the fuselage. I mean, that's, that's really cool. Um, one thing I noticed, the servo for the bomb drop has its own pass-through uh, through the wing into the fuselage for its wire makes it really easy to not confuse that one with the others. I uh, had a little difficulty gluing on all the little pieces as I'm sure you saw in the time lapse. We tried downloading the manual but it took us longer than expected. Once it finally came down we knew where to put those itty bitty plastic pieces. Really they're not going to make a difference but it gives it that split look to the air intakes. 
Cool little piece here. The air scoop on the side actually has a hole into the body of the plane, so that's going to provide some airflow there. And these exhaust vents also have holes into the fuselage. That was really cool. Uh, overall, this plane, I'm happy with her. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead, I'm going to give her a 9. It was a fairly straightforward assembly process. Download the manual before you try to put it together, though. It'll save you a lot of time and frustration. Other than that, we're looking forward to the maiden on this aircraft, and we will see you then.